All right, welcome back to M3. Here we are. We always want to talk about we finished our workout. We know that that produces such good endorphins for our, our, our mind. We, it, our body has amazing chemical changes that happen and we, we feel just uh, this, this relief. We feel this you know, focus when we work out. We're connecting that mind-body connection together. So we get down with the workout, whether we went for a, um, you know, a nice uh, bike ride on our, on our uh, home gym, uh, we did a workout, we, did, we went for a swim, we, did a, we just went and did some core work, we did some, some abdominal work, we did some planks, side planks, whatever it might be, we just burned some stored energy. Now remember that stored energy at M3 we talked about is that, is that stored energy in your muscles, sugar, right? So you're storing in your muscles, cells, about 2,000 calories of sugar stored in there. That is the, the, the fuel we're using to fire that immediate fire of those, when, especially when we're doing moderate exercise. And we want to do at least mo somewhat moderate to higher intensity exercise, you know, at least two, three times a week because we need to burn this down. Now, you know, to burn down 2,000 calories uh, of sugar in our muscles and just and it'll all be gone, we feel terrible. We, you know, we just don't want to push ourselves that hard at one time unless it, unless it's some extreme thing we have to win a championship and we can only you know we bring it down so low and but we have to try to refuel it as we're going along because otherwise we feel so fatigued and so we we can't think straight and everything else so we we need to burn this down some we need to refuel it properly in our in our kitchen right so we need to come in and we need to start bringing that back in and it with the sticky fiber diet we talk about bringing it in and making sure we have a, a bolus of food. Our holding tank, we want to fill that holding tank up with a variety of the five sticky fiber food groups, right? The fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts and seeds, and grains. And we want to combine some of those in our stomach to make that holding tank gel up with that sticky fiber, which is the soluble fiber, right? And then from there, we can slowly digest. We can start to refuel those muscles in the legs, refuel those shoulders, refuel our, get some energy back to our brain, right? So, um, so at that point though, that's the main, the main focus. It's not that, you know, we have to um, worry about what we're going to rebuild, what we're going to do here. We have to look at how to balance our, our, our body back off, get those nutrients in and start that process of rebuilding that glycogen stored back in the muscles. So now remember, if we don't burn any of that down throughout the week, if we don't burn that sugar down during the week, then that 2,000 calories just sort of stays there, then everything that we eat, because it's not going back to our muscles, it's going to go into storage, fat storage. But we want to always have this coming down and slowly coming back up, coming down, slowly backing up, coming back up. What happens if we try to eat 2,000 calories of sugar in the next 24 hours after we had a workout? Well, it fills back up. Sure, it will. It'll, it takes about 48 hours or so to fill back up. But once it fills back up, if we don't burn it down again, we just keep eating, keep eating, then it's going to go to fat storage. So we have to keep that always moderated in, in making sure. That's the secret to the sticky fiber diet. That's where we show you how to do these meal plans, how to build your meals with the right foods, with the right amounts so that you're not you know, uh, losing out on that amazing energy that our muscles have the capacity for. So as we go along, continue to um, you know, keep moderate levels of exercise going three times a week, right? You don't always have to go high intensity to burn that down, but you have to go moderate. Now, if you don't go moderate, if you just go really low level activity, you really don't burn that down very much. Right, so you, you, if you don't burn it down very much, then you, it fills up really smooth and quick. <laughs> Once it's filled up in the sugars, uh, the glycogen is stored up in the muscles, then it's going to go to fat storage. So this is the pr process that we coach you on, we guide you on, and we want to make sure that you're understanding how to do your workouts, refuel, do your workouts, refuel, have amazing energy and vitality and longevity with whatever you're doing. So look forward to seeing you uh, soon, talking with you soon. Make sure you comment and uh, subscribe. 
follow us if you haven't, and also uh, look at our coaching program. So thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.